Okay, it's breakfast time around here. This is the new guy, Gizmo. He doesn't really know the rules, so he is leashed, as you can see. Everybody else is pretty much waiting for their food. This is breakfast for six. <laughs> so today we have, well, Zorro and Ellie and Gizmo will eat some kibble. My three will eat my home cooked. Everybody's having with theirs today uh, some sardines, just a little bit thrown in there, and some tripe. And my home cooked. They all have a, the guys who are having kibble have a spoonful of my home cooked. So there's sardines, tripe, mm, kibble, and my home cooked all mixed in there. It's not too much, but it's enough. So we'll start with Ellie because she knows where she's sitting, like a good girl. Where she belongs. Good girl. Her spot. And this is Zorro's spot right here for the fridge. He knows the deal. There you go. We'll give the new guy his. He doesn't know what to do. Tied so spot. So there's the new guy. He gets his in a little stand. We're not sure if he has an issue with his neck. So, uh, Rocky. Tied's way over here. And Zero, Zero is still sitting here waiting like a good girl. There you go. So everybody's eating. The new guy, he doesn't really... We didn't even know what he was eating, so... This is all new to him. But obviously, everybody's in digging the, their meals. how you have to feed six dogs, you know. I don't leave food down for these guys to possibly fight over, or maybe Rocky would eat it all, and Zero would get none. I'm not going to do that. They all get portioned amount. I'm pretty careful. Get a quarter cup. They're all little, they're all little dogs. And we don't feed them too much. They do get uh, they'll all get a bully stick before I leave today, so they'll have that to chew and consume as well all day. He's actually eating a lot better than he did yesterday. Yesterday he wanted me to stay right by his side to eat. He's doing an excellent job over there by himself. Still a little. Checking in. Make sure I didn't run off. Ellie's probably done. She finishes pretty quick, but she is very respectful now. She stays over there. And Zoro and this guy are the slowest. Everyone else will be done before them. She's done. Todd, no. Go back. Go on. Todd. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Go. Sit. Thank you. <coughs> Todd's typically a wanderer. Usually, Todd will just leave the room. But, I don't know, since this new guy's here, he keeps trying to get in his ball. I'm not sure what that's about. He's dead. He'll just lick his ball. No. Todd, stay right where you're at, buddy. I know you're waiting. You're a good girl. Zoro, sit. Zoro's always done last, so. Uh, uh, uh. Zoro, sit, please. Sit. I know he's not done. Hey, sit. Thank you. <coughs> and Gizmo's just about done, I think. I think he ate all his food today. And trying to sit. Hey, buddy. All right, are we done? Hey, go sit. Go sit. Rock, rock. Come on. Rock. Rocky, go sit. Okay, so whenever you throw somebody new into the mix, everybody 
thinks the rules have changed. So it's a lot of learning all the time. Okay, Gizmo, can you sit? Sit? Uh-uh. Nope. Gizmo doesn't even know sit, so we're going to try and get him to sit. Buddy, sit. Good job, buddy. Good job. Nope. No jumping. Come on. Girl, right, sit. Good job. So once everybody is quiet, and sitting by their bowls, and we'll give the gizmo a little time. <laughs> he does not know the rules. Then I can pick up bowls, and that's it. It's a five minute process. A little longer to prepare it, but it's worth it. They all are happy to eat it. Are you done, buddy? Good boy. Good job, Zora. Good boy.